stopping on Liberty. The reception was down to the 37. Roughly the pass will add 15. That'll bring it down to the 22-23 yard line, which puts Alville in great position. Logan looks a bit shaken up. Yeah, I think he got the wind knocked out of him. So, boy, there's a lot of fireworks here late in this game. Now the question is, Logan's their kicker. If they can't get into the end zone, do they go for the field goal? Logan's their kicker. Yeah, I, I would say no. They don't look like they kicked that well, and that's, they haven't been kicking all year. So I would say no, but... Uh, I've been wrong before. And now the question is, do they have gone for two on that third touchdown or try the extra point? Because if they had gotten the two, they'd be leading in this game. Yeah, yeah. You can, uh, of course, if they made it. <laughs> if they yeah, got it, yeah. Well, they they going it. doesn't guarantee if they, if they missed it, it still yeah. would have been 20 points. Yeah. If they, they missed were... the extra point. Well, the ball it. is down at the 21-yard line. First and 10. 131-130 and counting. For the Blue Devils. Well, uh, time is, uh, they're okay. They just got to play with some poise here. They're going to go with shotgun. No, they're not. They're on the shotgun. They can run the ball in. They've been running very well. Liberty's playing a little bit soft now. They can pass. The pitch. The line ball. Watson Lugo flag on the play. He's out of bounds with about the 12. I think we're going to have a blocky little waste on Elmo. Now, Langloyd, you know, that's a kid who's been playing a lot of football. He knew to get out of bounds. Ran hard, ran for the sideline, got out of bounds. That's what his big, big thing to do at that point in time. He's one of the three four-year starters for Ellenville, and you notice Younger is now in the game. He's yep. one of the four-year starters as well. But we have a hold on the offense. That's a big penalty for Ellenville. Yeah, huge. I mean, they're, they had the ball down to, it looks like, about the 11. He's going to put it out to about the 37. 33, okay. So... Very big. Instead of second from and down, second down from the 11, it's going to be first and 20 from the 33. Shotgun now. Shotgun formation. Jackson wide to the left, Logan to the right. Looking to pass, looking deep for Logan. He's open. He's got it. What a throw. What a great pass. Touchdown, Logan. assistant coach who uh, is a little bit out of control there, okay? He's not setting a good example in my opinion. That's, that's the way I feel about it. That's, that's the bottom line. You can't, you can't be uh, doing that. Hey, you see the Ellenville fans, they were stunned just a few minutes ago, but now they're cheering. Jake, Shane Connor, and Mark Logan. Now we'll get the call from the officials. Maybe they'll talk about it a bit more. Well, we talked about the uh, Cable 6 comeback of the week, but this is the Cable 6 double comeback of the week, and do we have time for a triple? <laughs> we do. <laughs> 15 seconds, we do. Ellen will call timeout while they think about it. We'll take a break. 59 seconds left. Five points, Blue Devil lead. Beautiful things can happen to you with a career in hairdressing and cosmetology. Your first step, the Beauty School of Middletown. After attending the Beauty School of Middletown, I realized how valuable a good basic education was for my success. The proof of the school's success is the amount of licensed cosmetologists they turn out each year. For me, that license enabled me to grow and thoroughly enjoy what I do. Call the Beauty School of Middletown at 343-2171 and take the first step toward a career in the beauty world. It was 1923. Babe Ruth leads the Yankees to their first World Series title. Vladimir Lenin rules the Soviet Union. Hi Weber founds Middletown's first specialty work clothes store. Weber's is still the best at what they do because of the area's lowest everyday prices on Lee and Levi jeans. And Red Wing Boots, the area's best selection of Carhartt, Timberland, and Wolverine. Convenience means immediate sales help if you want it. Free having on any purchase, and you can park at our door. That's where 
Barbers on Dalton Avenue in Middletown. One store for the working man. We had a We had a unsportsmanlike conduct, we think, on the assistant coach of Liberty, which would be his second, which means he would be out of the game. But we're well, they sure. have more than one assistant out there, so, you know, two, you're done. Now the question, does Ellenville go for one or two? Two would give them, well, they're definitely going to go for two because one would only give them a six-point lead, and they missed the first one. Right. Two running teams, and we have a 43-yard touchdown pass for Liberty, a 33-yard a touchdown pass for Ellenville. Well, Liberty coach has been ejected. Either that or the coach officials are talking about the leaves and the mountain and saying how beautiful they are, but I don't think that's why they're pointing that way. So they don't seem to be into the foliage at this point in time. And now, uh, unless the coach leaves, uh, this game could be... Uh, well, it won't get started until he leaves. Well, the game could be ended. Okay. You got, you're you going to give him a little bit of time, and uh, the old baseball trick, could uh, tell the umpires, they'll give you 30 seconds to get off, and the player says, well, you can't even see the sweep hand, so, uh, so we'll see. Dick Falzano is talking with Ken Rouse, the athletic director here at Ellenville. Now he seems to have things straightened out. Yeah, well, see, that's where, you know, you got to... There's Kasim Cincino. He has played a great game for Liberty. But yeah. Unless the Indians can come up with something in the last 59 seconds. Well, he's got to be uh, disappointed, time. but he should still be proud. He's played an outstanding game. Okay, two-point conversion try for Ellenville. They're in the wishbone. Hand off to Logan. That'll make it 28-21, meaning that Liberty has to score and get the extra point. So with 59 seconds left to go, we will take a break. Back with the Ellenville kickoff right after this. Kids of all ages will flip for Bob and Mike's ballpark. Four hard-to-get collector's items. And a full line of collector's supplies and hats. And for comic book buffs, Bob and Mike's has the most popular titles. Comic club member discounts and free bagging and boarding of every comic book they sell. Bob and Mike's ballpark open seven days a week. Next to Red Barn Beth Boots, County Road 78 in Middletown. There's Shane Connor. He takes the ball and he will just go deep to Lamar Logan and great pass. Yeah, he can he, he re ran a deep pattern. He got ran to the uh, inside there and uh, he was open, wide open, and he was on the money. Give give the Shane Connor. He's a backup quarterback. Pretty good job. Outstanding job, Shane Connor. 33 yards. Logan beat Jesse Robinson. Three plays, 46 yards, 51 seconds. We have just gone back and forth here late in the fourth quarter. I just had three different players in the game. <laughs> Logan, a kickoff now from the 40s. 